Okay, there's a few things you should know before you just go ahead and download this and run with it. And I'm going to start with what you get when you download this. Inside the Digital Slate Easy folder, there is a media folder, and there will be supplied for you a Type 1 font called Digital Display, which I created a long time ago. And you will need to install that first, so you can open that up in Font Book and install it. Final Cut will need to have access to it, and this effect will not work with any other font. But you could try monospaced fonts, okay? Uh, fonts that have the same spacing for every character. That might work as a substitute, but it'll just look better with a digital. And inside the sound effects folder will be a file called clapper.aif, and that will be the sound you need for the actual clapping sound. Okay, that's the first part of that. Now back inside Final Cut, the other thing you have to know is that this is a 30 second effect. It's a generator and it must always remain at 30 seconds. You can't cut it, you can't stretch it, you can't squeeze it. The only other way you can use it is if you don't have an animated time and you can turn on the show freeze value. And then however long the effect is on the screen, it'll just always show that same value. I'm going to start with a new copy of this. To the beginning. It doesn't matter where you put it. I'll just stick it here. Okay, it defaults to zero frames, zero seconds, zero minutes, zero hours. You can edit all of these. Okay, and I think today's the 13th. Fine. All that stuff is fine. And when you start to run this, it will run. Now let me line this up with a time. Let's see, let me go to exactly 10 seconds here. And... If I run this, okay, you can see I've gone 4 seconds and 14 frames. We have 4 seconds and 14 frames. So that gets us to how to set the time on this. You can set the hours by dragging this slider. You can set the minutes by dragging this slider. And the seconds and frames are together with this slider. Now if you need to get an exact frame number, you're going to have to do the math. And the math would be 25 divided by 30. Okay, we got 0 .8333. You have to set the playhead on the first frame of the generator set the calculation so I said 8.333 it's a little shy so let me go to 8.34 nope 35 there we go so you'll need to do the math calculate add a little extra padding there and then you can get to the time you need and then when you run this then you're keeping accurate time now you're going to run into a problem when you get to the minute. Let's start with something like 48 seconds. So we can slide the playhead over to 59.29. Okay. And for the minute, you set a keyframe, advance one frame. Set another keyframe and just move this up into the 57 mark. And so now when you go from 59, 29, the next frame will be 
57. It's very seamless. It works very well. And you do the same thing for the hour too if you get up. So you can create any time you want and start this as a running time code, albeit for 30 frames a second or 29.97. There's very little difference between the two. And so that's how you design your time frame. And now when you want the uh, slate to stop on a time, you can move to a, another frame further down, make a note of the time you want to stop at, click into the freeze time and type in 16. Dot five seven O two that's colon not dot O five and that would be your freeze time you also have the option of using a drop frame if you use a drop frame this last colon would actually be a semicolon you're just typing in a hard coded time and then set a keyframe let's go back one frame and set another keyframe. Go back to the original keyframe and cross the 50% mark. And now you have a freeze time so that when it plays in, it stops. Okay, that's the only way I could get a hold to, to work on this. And then, of course, that's the exact same time you want the clapper to sound. So we'll go to the stop frame here. Find the sound. You'll have to import the sound from the folder, as I showed you earlier. Select it in the event. Type Q. And it will be placed exactly on the same frame. So that's where it stops. And then you can go back and animate the clapper. So the clapper angle here will be zero. You can set that keyframe, go back two frames, and angle that up. You might want to set a keyframe for the dolly here. Move back a little bit. Set a keyframe. Dolly out. Move back, uh, not too far, just a little bit. Set another keyframe on the dolly. Move it up so you can move out, and it'll hit. Before moving out, Let's set another keyframe on the clapper angle, actually, and just set the clapper angle at zero. So, something like that. You have X and Y position controls here. When you're done with the effect here, and you don't need the rest of this, you're going to have to turn off the effect. So, set a keyframe, move one frame forward, and set the effect opacity to zero. And then, you're done with that. As long as you don't change the length of the generator, then the time should remain frame for frame accurate in a 2997 or 30 frame per second project. This is just an illusion anyway, so it really doesn't matter that much. The last thing to talk about is the color of the clapper board. You have a gradient here. Doesn't look like a gradient, but this is a gradient. All the colors are constant. Whatever's in the swatch here is the same color you get to the next swatch. And you can customize how this looks any way you want. Uh, you can put in standard broadcast test colors, whatever. You can animate this through if you like. And that's pretty much all the details for this. Just remember you can't change the length of the effect. Or that is going to thoroughly mess up everything time-wise. You can use a static time if you like. 
and then it won't matter how you size the generator. Hope you enjoy it. You can download it from the link in the description below and I'll catch you on the next one.